Hey y'all, welcome to Season with Love. I'm Casey. And y'all saw the title. I know some of y'all been asking for this recipe. Y'all know what we're making today, y'all? We're making roti bread. Okay? Oil roti. Bust up shots roti. For our curry chicken, y'all. If y'all have not seen my curry chicken video, check out, uh, go to my page. Type in Jamaican curry chicken on Season with Love. Y'all, make that curry chicken so y'all can have something delicious to eat with this roti bread we about to make today. So let me go over these ingredients for y'all, y'all. Y'all gonna need some all-purpose flour, some regular salt, baking powder, butter, oil for the pan, some measuring cups, measuring spoons, and some water. That's it, y'all. Y'all, stay tuned. We making bust up shot roti. On season with love, y'all. All right, y'all. Let's get into these measurements. I'm going to add to my bowl two cups of all-purpose flour to my bowl. Two cups. That's one. Two. So we got two cups of all-purpose flour. Now we're gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder. To each cup of flour, if you want to double the recipe, to each cup of flour, use two, two uh, one cup of flour, one teaspoon of uh, baking powder. So we use two cups of flour, we're gonna use two teaspoons of baking powder. I want these to be light and fluffy and airy. Now to this, I'm going to use a half a teaspoon of salt, okay? Just a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Okay, you want, you got to season them. That's it. Okay. We're going to whisk our dry ingredients. Y'all, that's basically it. We got a cup of warm water here. I got one cup of warm water. You want to use warm water because it, it keeps the dough soft. Okay, so we're going to mix up all our ingredients here. We're going to make a hole in the middle of here and start adding our warm water. So I'm going to add one third of this and start mixing it in, y'all. So I'm going to slowly keep adding my warm water until this forms a dough. this out of here. It's time for me to start using my hands, y'all. So we're going to get this all mixed in. I'm going to grab a, a rubber spatula so I can scrape down the sides. Okay. And get that all mixed in. I'm going to keep adding that water until this dough come together. And this is one cup of warm water. Okay? Keep adding it. Keep adding it until this dough comes together. I'm going to use this spatula and keep scraping down my sides. Y'all see our dough coming together? And now I'm going to knead this dough. You know, this is a nice soft dough. We just want to get it in a bowl. Get it together like this, okay? Get it in this bowl right here. I put a little extra flour in the bowl so that it could come out when we're ready. And what we want to do with this is, here I have a clean kitchen towel, clean kitchen cloth. I'm going to cover this with my clean kitchen cloth, okay? And, excuse me, I'm going to cover this with my clean kitchen cloth and I'm going to cover this with the lid. And I'm going to let this rest for about 20 minutes. And when I come back, y'all, we making bust up shot roti on season with love, y'all. Hey guys, we back. Season with love. Our dough has rested. We're gonna get it out this bowl. Y'all see it's nice and pliable. Y'all see that? Look at that. Did you show that? Y'all see how it's nice, soft dough? We want a nice, that's 
not flour. <laughs> That's sugar, y'all. Do not use sugar. <laughs> Using flour. So I'm going to flour my counter surface. Get this out the way. I'm going to put a little flour down so I can turn my dough out here. I'm going to turn my dough out. You see? Turn my dough out right on my, sur my uh, flour surface. Get rid of that. Now what I'm going to do is roll my dough up into it like a log like this. I got a knife here so I can portion out how much roti I'm going to make. Now me, I'm only going to make about uh, four roti. So if you got a, a scale, that's even better. You know, so we have four even portions. So because I'm only making four roti bread today. Okay, that dough is nice. Feels so nice. Nice, soft, pliable dough. Makes the best bus up shot roti. They call it bus up shot roti for y'all those of y'all who don't know. See our dough, our roti has come together, our dough. You know. It's because it, it looked like a busted up shirt. You know. <laughs> it sounds like you're saying shot, but it really means shirt. Okay, look like a torn up shirt. So we're gonna make, we got four here. We're gonna make four roti, y'all. Let me show y'all how we're gonna roll out this dough and get them prepared, okay? I'm gonna put these over here so we can start working with one, okay? Flour your surface and bring my rolling pin. Flour my rolling pin. And let's get this dough rolled out, y'all. So you wanna roll this dough out to a nice thin, circle, you know, okay, these are not going to be extra large, like I said, you can double the recipe, if you like, okay, now for this part, you can use oil, you can use butter, that's why they call this oil roti, the one I'm making here, you know, keep moving your roti, make sure it's not sticking to your your board or your counter or whatever you're rolling out your uh, dough on. Okay. So now we got this rolled out fairly thin. It's not so in a in a complete circle, but it doesn't have to be right now. Okay. Now we're gonna take our butter or oil or whatever you're using. I'm using butter for this part. Some butter. And you're gonna make sure you coat all this with that butter, okay, y'all? Get this coated with that butter. Every surface of it, get it coated with that butter, y'all. Coat all of it. This right here, this step right here, what we doing, is very important. This is what's gonna give you them flaky layers that you're looking for in your roti, okay? You skip this part, you're not gonna have the layers, the fluffiness that you're looking for. So make sure you don't skip this part here. Okay. Once you get every surface of that covered, this is how you're going to get your layers. Move this to the side. Okay, we're going to take a knife and we're going to split it down right here. Okay, make a little split in there. Okay. And now from there, you're going to start rolling. Roll up your dough. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Roll it all the way around. Keep rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, okay? Keep rolling that dough until it's rolled all the way to the end, okay? When you get to the end part, you're gonna take that end, you're gonna stretch it, okay? You're gonna stretch it and then put it in here at the top, okay? Put it in there, tuck it all in, okay? All the way down. You're gonna flip it over to the bottom and push that bottom in too, okay? Push that in. And this is what you have here. You see how we rolled it and we got these two ends pushed in? That's your dough there. Put that to the side. We're going to start on the next one. Now for this one, on the next one, I'm going to show you how to roll it up a different way. Okay? We made. Now for this, we're going to take it like this. This is more easier for some people. You roll it up like this. You just roll it like you're making a cinnamon roll or something. Okay? You roll it up like this way. And you see how that's all rolled up? Now you start from the end, and you roll the end like a cone, like this. OK? 
okay? And you keep rolling like this, and like this, and like this. And to that end piece you get, go on and tuck that piece in. See? So now it's, it's just, it's like this, okay? That's, that's a lot easier for some people to do than the other way. And you'll get the same fluffy layers, okay? So, I'm going to keep getting this dough rolled out. Y'all stay tuned on Season With Love. I'm show y'all what we're going to do next. All right, guys. We got all our dough oiled down and rolled. Now we're going to roll them back out again, okay? Now you want to roll your dough back out again after you, you put the oil on it, okay? And roll them up. Thank you to my husband for helping me oil down the roti and rolling them up. Okay. You're going to see a little oil spots coming through. That's all right. Now is when you want to try to roll it to a circle. Okay. And I give specific water amounts, you know, when you're making roti because it depends on your environment, how hot, how cold it is where you live on how much water you're going and how your dough is going to be. You just want a nice soft dough. So you keep adding water until you get that. But I started out with two cups of flour, two tablespoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And then you take a cup of warm water and you add it accordingly. Okay, now we're going to get this one right here into the pan, y'all. Meet me over at the stove. All right, guys. So, yeah, we over at the stove. I got my pan here, which I'm going to be frying off my roti on. So I'm gonna add some oil to this pan, okay? Get that brushed around on here, okay? Now, some people like white roti. Some people like the little brown bits. I'm one of the brown roti, brown bit person, okay? So I'm gonna put my roti on my hand like this. This is the way you, you, you move your roti. You lay it on your hand like this, okay? And that way you can come and get it right into your pan, just like that. Okay? So now we're going to let this fry up. Brown on one side. Let it cook. Okay? Once the roti cook, we're going to flip the roti over and let it brown on the other side. All right, y'all. We're going to flip this over and let the other side get brown. And then I'm going to show y'all how to clap the roti. All right, y'all. We got our roti ready to come out of here. We're going All right, y'all. So this is how I clap the roti. It's hot. So I'm using this towel to assist me. Just turn it and clap it. Turn it, clap it. Bust up the roti, you know, so you can see them delicious layers that you made in the roti, you know. You see? Now, that's why they call it bust up shot roti because I bust it up. You know what I'm saying? And you're going to eat this by pieces. Now, when you bust it up, you take it, you fold it, and you put it with the rest of your roti. And this roti is ready to be enjoyed, okay? To be served with some delicious. You can just serve it with butter, eat it with tea. You can put some cinnamon butter on it. But what we're going to enjoy it with is some delicious curry chicken, you guys. This roti is best served with a curry dish. Dish it up, eat it, pick it up, take a piece, pick up some curry with it, enjoy it, y'all. Bust up shot royalty on Season With Love. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you be notified every time I upload a video on Season With Love. God bless y'all. Have a beautiful day.